I feel like lately, every time we do a video on turbochargers, somebody pops up on Instagram or Facebook or whatever and asks, when is the L5P turbo going to be ready? Well, it's not ready yet. But I wanted to take some time and give you an update on where we're at. The L5P turbo is largely different than the Garrett turbochargers it replaces because it's a Borg Warner charger, and it uses a different vane cage or nozzle ring assembly. The back half of the turbocharger is different. That means that the parts we've designed which make the Stealth series so popular and so successful in the VVT arena, don't work, don't fit in the L5P. We have to redesign them. First, let me show you what I'm talking about. Most guys are familiar with turbocharger compressor wheels. You want to go faster, you want to make more power, you take the turbocharger compressor wheel, you make it bigger. That moves more air. Works great in theory, as long as you have the engine behind the turbocharger doing its job. That engine is the turbine. The turbine takes gas from the combustion chamber, runs it through the exhaust, through this nozzle ring or vein cage. Look at how narrow that thing is. Nine and a quarter millimeter. You guys with five inch exhaust tips take note. Nine and a quarter millimeter, all the exhaust gas goes through and hits the turbine wheel. Now you're limited in power by how much exhaust gas can get through and affect that turbine wheel, how much horsepower you can drive on that turbine wheel, both by the size of the turbine wheel and the width and design of the vein cage and nozzle ring assembly. The frustrating part for the aftermarket is that there's no performance versions of this, meaning that if you're going to put a new turbine in or you're going to put a bigger turbine in, you're limited. How much can you fit in the factory nozzle ring and vein cage? Well, people have been out there putting bigger turbines in. Slightly bigger turbines, but hey, they're bigger. There's some 64 turbochargers on the market. I get it. But when we come to market, we want to make sure that we bring a balanced combo. And that balanced combo is bigger compressor wheel sized appropriately for the horsepower level we're going to support, and bigger turbine and bigger nozzle ring. Let's have a little preview, though. Let's show you what we're working on. So like I said before, the factory nozzle ring is 9 and a quarter millimeters. Our performance nozzle ring is bigger than that. How much bigger? Well, you want to make power, don't you? That bigger nozzle ring takes time to develop, and it takes time to validate. Once we get that done, our goal is to give you a balanced piece, something that has good drive pressure to boost ratios, something that's going to have good long-term reliability, and really move the air to take advantage of that big L5P fuel system. You guys with L5Ps looking to make more power, wanting more air, you're excited about this? Click on the link below. We'll keep you up to date on our progress and let you know when they're available. I'm Nick Pregnant with DuramaxTuner.com. Thanks for watching.